some breaking news coming in. The launch of Aditya L1, the first space-based Indian observatory to study the sun, is scheduled for the 2nd of September, 2023 at 11.50 hours. Indian Standard Time from Sri Harikota is what we've been given to understand. That's the big story that we are getting at this time. These are details that are emerging as far as the mission to the sun now is concerned. It's called the Aditya L1 and 2nd of September really is the D-Day in that sense. 11.50 a.m. This is 2nd of September when the mission is launched from Sri Harikota. This is Aditya L1 to be launched from Sri Harikota and this is going to be India's mission to the sun. Getting in details and this is a big story that we are tracking at this hour after Chandrayaan 3. Chandrayaan 3, Kisroza, Isro in fact is eyeing uh, Aditya L1 launch essentially which is uh, India's mission to the sun. Aditya L1 solar mission is going to be launched on the 2nd of September. That indeed is going to be looking at the sun's behavior and its impact on space weather. Pramod Madhav has more details on that. The scientists at ISTRO had been in fact saying that this isn't going to be easy because uh, the missions to the moon have been just so many. At least attempts have been made given that the distance from the earth uh, is also not very difficult to cover. Also, the mission to the sun is going to be difficult in that sense and challenging. What is it that this is going to attain? Talk to us a little about the objective of the tail one from Moon. Sneha, there is like one important aspect about uh, the mission from Chandrayaan and uh, Aditya L1. The thing is that the first is the distance, just like you mentioned. The distance between Earth and Moon is 3.84 lakh uh, kilometers while the distance between, uh, like now Aditya L1 will be placed is going to be 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. I'm pretty sure Israel will actually uh, do it step by step and not also. This is something called as an ALO orbit, which means the orbit will be of a smaller uh, dimension and it will be actually 24-7 uh, will be monitoring the sun itself and the mission parameters are very clear. First time spatially resolved solar disk will be placed and the important aspect is to read about solar flares and various ways the, the, the surface of the sun works. These are the things that Aditya L1 is uh, getting prepared to learn about because the sun is the nearest star to earth and there are a lot of things we can learn about it which would help us in the future especially about the behaviors of red giants or like uh, the white dwarfs it's also also called as neutron stars and how these solar flares that leave the sun surface how what kind of impact it could have on the, uh, uh, the especially the weather of earth so these are the uh, uh, parameters and everything that falls under the mission that Aditya L1 is going to research and provide data in Israel in Chandrayaan itself it has started the uh, investigation on the moon's surface and those data are becoming very much helpful for scientists across the world and they are very much eager to know about how Aditya L1 is also going to perform. ISRO has already shared promote pictures of photos of the satellite for Aditya L1 solar mission. Talk to us a little about that as well. satellite that's going to carry a, a kind of a, a disk which has been called as uh, in fact if you could see this thing it's called as the spatially resolved solar disk in the near UV band. CME dynamics close to the solar disk which is going to be 1.05 solar radius and they're going to these are this particular instrument is going to be very much helpful because the temperature on the moons and the earth and the so, uh, sun's surface is completely different uh, than the temperature inside the core and this is something called as a fusion star where two hydrogen atoms actually combine to uh, become helium by which heat is generated and the actual temperature behave, behaves in an entirely different way. In fact, to see that uh, like uh, through various spectrum uh, uh, spectrometry uh, lenses, it actually shows a kind of like, uh, in scientific terms, we can say that the dance of various gases on the uh, surface of the sun. So these things will be very closely uh, researched by Aditya L1 and this data is also definitely going to be useful across the scientific community because not much star, I mean satellites so far have gone close by, especially targeting sun, the surface, solar flares and various things to read and research about it, Sneha.